Understanding the deadlift. First of all, the deadlift is a widely recognized exercise. Think about you getting a package. You're gonna go down and pick up the package and stand up nice and tall. Think about you picking up your kid or your dog. It's the same kind of movement. We're hinging and we're squatting down to pick it up. So that's why we're gonna go over four different variations of deadlifts. In the strength training world, deadlifts are the most widely known exercise and they are a testament of your strength overall because it is the number one exercise that uses the full body. When I go through each of these variations, I'm going to suggest that you use a broom or a PVC pipe so that you can practice these movements over and over again because repetition matters way more than the weight that you put on the bar. Before we get into the actual act of deadlifting, I wanna go over a couple things that you need to know. The first thing is that it is a tough exercise to understand. There's a lot of different things happening at one time, and especially if you're brand new, it's going to take repetition and practice for you to master the variation that you decide works best for you. The second thing to understand is your feet, meaning what you have on them, so shoes or barefoot training, which is best for you. My suggestion is always to try things barefoot, especially in deadlifts, because you are trying to push through your full foot, not just through your heel. If you'd like to find some sort of shoe that you need, think more of a barefoot or a really flat shoe. I've got on nanos right now, but typically I would deadlift in something super flat or barefoot. The third thing to understand is that you need to have the right equipment. There are tons and tons of different variations out there to deadlift. You can deadlift with dumbbells and kettlebells and resistance bands and medicine balls and slam balls and all the things. Today we are just going to talk about barbells. The last thing I'm going to mention right now before we get into any variation is grip. So grip, there's actually three different ways to hold the bar. First way is with both hands facing you. Okay, this is generally what most people do. Um, there's also mixed grip, which is one hand over and one hand under. This is typically what I use because I know that I need to work on my grip strength. So this is kind of a clutch for me. Um, the other way in which you'll see typically with power lifters is an underhand grip. So you'd be here. What I want you to focus on as we go through each of these exercises is to focus on both hands facing you. I am using a 45 pound bar. There is also a 35 pound bar and there's a practice bar that's 15 pounds. Typically you'd be using a 45 pound or a 35 pound bar. You wanna use regulation size plates. So if you don't have them and you have maybe smaller plates, you're gonna to have to put blocks or benches underneath them. They need to be this size so that when you come down into the deadlift, you're in the right position to actually pick it up. So when we put the plates on the bar, I like to hold the inside of the bar, lift it up and just slide it on like so. Okay, and then I would do the same thing with the other side. I'm gonna pick up the bar from the inside, put the plate on and slide it right on. Notice how even when I'm putting the plates on the bar, I'm setting my butt down, my back is nice and flat so that I'm not injuring myself.